What is going on guys? We are sitting here in the 986 headed to, well I'm not going to tell you where we're headed because we're going to get a little modification to the uh, Boxster today, but uh, lights turning green. I'm going to let you guess what we're doing and I will see you guys in a second. Here, guys now before you see the graphic effects and go oh you're ruining the car um, everything I do guys to this car is completely reversible and uh, I try to keep it fairly tasteful uh, this is graphic effects in Murfreesboro uh, loves window tint and uh, I'm still not gonna tell you what we're doing to the 986 but uh, it's tasteful and it's fairly necessary I'll give you a hint uh, I'm kind of tall and these things are basically useless so I'm just trying to make it a little more drivable for my uh, 63 self and uh, when we get done we'll talk about what I've kind of decided on these seats from the last video and some other stuff I've done so Let's go in here and uh, get this done. That's gonna look so good. Yeah, this will change it up a little bit. Yeah, well, I'm so tall, and those um, the sun visors are kind of useless, so that that's gonna make a big difference. Well, like this, because that's the that's the biggest window in the park, you know. Yeah. So you can do a you can do a 50% drive and fill off that boost and it'll it'll reduce the Strain on your eyes, and it'll, it'll keep you from having to reach for the sunglasses when the sun sits instant. But it's super light, like it's, it's so light you'll forget it's on there. Really? Yeah. I can't get over how easily you do that. <laughs> Don't let it fool you. No, this would have been like a two hour <laughs> jacked up job if I had done it. I've done a thousand of them, I'm sure. <laughs> That color turned out good too. It's just yeah, a little darker. That was a good choice. I like that. Well, we had something subtle, so it wasn't that noticeable. But yeah, that's that's perfect. Yeah, that's nice. I like the satin too. It's really good. Yeah, that that that's gonna be crazy. Real quick editor's note here. I wanted to show you guys these. These are like 1 16th scale, 1 8th scale. I'm not really sure. Uh, model cars that are actually remote control. So they have uh, full shocks, uh, full motor, and uh, yeah, they've got them displayed up on these little mini lifts in this like glass and lighted display case that kind of looks like the shop which is really cool. I wish they weren't so busy today because they have a full racetrack for these things. All right, back out in the sun. You can see one of the things I've done is this guy, but more importantly, and I'm gonna get them to redo this at some point, is they do such a good job. Look at that. Super tiny change. But now, I'll be able to drive this thing without blinding myself. What do you guys think? So if you're in the Murfreesboro area, check out Graphic Effects and Love's Window Tint. And then if you're not, uh, but you need some uh, sun shielding, definitely consider doing something like this, because that's just awesome. Okay, so we're back home again, and I have switched to the GoPro that I forgot this morning when I went to have this done. I hope the sound turns out okay. Uh, I didn't take a mic. I didn't take the GoPro. I just had my phone, 
and then realized it when I was about halfway to my appointment. So at any rate, you can see what we've done. Obviously, you already saw it in the earlier video, but it's just this dark satin gray uh, window film to uh, better break out all the light that was getting in and getting in my eyes and being really annoying. So uh, that is all I did. It's super easy to remove, just like these, just like these. I have the stock wheels, I have the stock exhaust. Uh, I can peel that off and that off in 10 minutes. Uh, the things that have changed on this car are completely reversible. So those people that are saying, I'm ruining it, don't worry it's totally reversible speaking of raining it uh, i did add this carbon ducktail you can see it right here um, it's kind of small i may have one uh, custom made for this that's a little bit a little bit longer uh that gives a little more presence but for now i like this one um there were a couple of cars i was looking at uh, earlier on and uh, one of them had a carbon ducktail and I really liked it it was actually the same size as this and back then I really liked it now I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger but having said that uh, it's not that big of a deal um, I like the carbon I like the fact that it has a little more of a presence um, I don't know I may end up painting it body color uh, so I have to just have a body color ducktail. I'm not quite sure yet if I'm being honest um, But yeah, there is that and then also uh, I had mentioned the, About the seats. I did a video just a really short three minute video a couple of days ago about the seats um, I have since taken those um, covers off and uh it is back to the burgundy and black and gray uh, original interior. Um, so the thing that got me started, there was a video from Vin, uh, formerly of Hoonigan, uh, where he changed out the interior of his, um, I can't remember at the moment. I actually think it was his Ferrari that he changed out the interior. At any rate, uh, I'll put a link to that video below, uh, but um, he um, he had a uh, fairly worn interior that he was trying to change. Mine is quite nice with just a little wear on that bolster, but um, I don't know. It's just a color that I'm just not used to. And uh, with the exception of these door pulls and the seats, uh, it's really gray and black. So I had thought about doing gray and black in the interior, but now... Um, having gone back through some of the photo and video of cars I looked at before purchasing this one uh, when I was looking for my first Boxster um, I'll put a I'll put a picture now of one that I really liked and maybe we'll do something sort of like that um, I actually I don't know yet but uh, you guys can let me know what you think about the uh, sun visor, the uh, window banner, and uh, again, totally reversible, but it makes the car much more drivable for me. Um, takes out a lot of the sunlight. We get a ton of sunlight in Tennessee. It's very bright, and on those back roads, you never know when it's going to hit. You'll have you'll have tree coverage like this, and then all of a sudden, you have open open uh, sunlight which unfortunately i don't really have today but um which is why the top is up but at any rate yeah and that's gonna make it where no matter if it's shaded or sunny that uh that quick pop of sunlight through the trees is not gonna blind me so uh it's it's a uh, it's an efficiency thing and uh i i like it i think it works well with the car while keeping the car tasteful so you guys let me know what do you think about the uh, window banner what do you think about doing a change to the seats do i leave them do i change them and then let me know what you guys think about the um carbon ducktail 
and we will just see you next time. Peace.